Now let's do a quick review of the quadratic formula and then we'll solve some problems using the quadratic formula. If you have a quadratic equation in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then you can solve it with the quadratic formula. And any quadratic equation can be put into this form. And because a, b, and c can represent any numbers, this little equation can represent any quadratic equation. So if you have something like this, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then you can solve it for x with this formula. x will equal negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c all over two a. So you just take these values for a, b, and c. Those will be numbers, the coefficients from your quadratic equation and plug them into this formula and you'll get an answer. You, you actually get two answers because of the plus or minus right there and those are the values of x which satisfy the original equation. And now we'll look at some examples of doing exactly that. 